Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today I'm going to share with you how I made this stocking stand as well as some ceramic bells. So what I did was go ahead and grab a few of these Dollar Tree uh, wood signs and then what I did was measure one um, to cut it up into three individual sections or pieces and I tried to make them as even as possible. So what I can do and what I wanted to share with you is that you can use just a regular saw. You can even purchase a saw from Dollar Tree and do this, um, but it does take a little bit longer. So there's one option of you using just a regular saw or you can use a hand electric saw like I did for the rest of the cuts. Once you have all your three pieces, what you're gonna do is go ahead and grab some more of those wood signs. You're gonna grab two more, and you're gonna place one on the edge, one of those cut uh, pieces of wood on the edge of the full piece of wood. And you're just gonna go ahead and screw those together. And then you're gonna grab the other one, and you're gonna do the same thing. And I did grab some wood glue just to make sure that it stays nice and secure. So once you have both of those screwed together, just go ahead and grab both of your wood signs and you're just going to add some glue right in the center and you're going to get the third and final cut of piece of wood that you did cut and you're going to go ahead and screw that to both of your longer pieces of wood. And this is going to be the bottom of your stand. Now I use two pieces of the wood signs, but you can easily just do it with one wood sign. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough space to add more stockings as my family grows. But if you want to just make a stand for two or three stockings, you can easily do it with just one of the wood signs. Then I grabbed some more wood because I didn't have any more of those wood um, signs from Dollar Tree. And I just used some wood that I had on hand and placed one on either end of my stand. And don't mind one of my dogs out here. They're actually both out. But this one is Luna. And um, since it was such a pretty day out, they wanted to be you know, outside and hang out with me as I did my DIY. So after I placed both of the sides, I went ahead and grabbed one more piece of wood. And then I just went ahead and added some more hot uh, wood glue and screwed it onto the top part. And then once you screw it all together, you can just let it dry for a little while so that wood glue has a chance to dry. Then go ahead and paint or spray paint it any color you want. I went ahead and spray painted it just easier um, and I just used black spray paint. Once everything was nice and dry, I brought it in and just started adding my hooks into that top piece of wood. So once you're done adding all your hooks, just hang your stockings in there. You have it, a stocking stand. So the next project, what I wanted to do was make some ceramic bells and I wanted them to look more like galvanized ceramic bells. So what I did was just grab um, three different sizes of the ceramic pots from Dollar Tree and I decided to paint them a little bit darker. So I painted them with a dark brown and then I went ahead and started making it more like a galvanized look because these are the kind that I've been seeing all over the place. So I just grabbed another sponge and used a little bit of glue, uh, gold paint. And then um, after I sponged some of that gold paint, I added some of the silver paint on top of that as well. This is the look that I was going for, but you can easily paint these all red or all gold, spray paint them all gold, or even leave them as a ceramic style if that's what you're going for. So once I added that gold, I went ahead and grabbed again some silver and just started sponging the silver on top of the gold. There's so many ways you can make this DIY as well. You can use them um, and make them more like a farmhouse style with paint, maybe white paint, 
or you can even use them as a boho style and just leave them the ceramic color as well. So let me know in the comments below what style you're going to be making your Christmas bells. So once I was done adding that silver, I just went in and added a little bit more brown on top. And that's how they looked. Kind of like that galvanized old rustic look. Then I just did the same process on all of the other pots. Just sponged on the gold and then I added some silver. And then I went in and added a little bit of darker black and brown as well. Just until I got it almost the same or as close as I could to the other bell. Then I did that with the third and final one as well. And once you're done sponging and you like the way they look, just go ahead and set them aside and allow all of this paint to dry. So while the pots were drying, I went ahead and grabbed some drew twine and I grabbed some bells and just threaded those bells through that rope. Now you can also use a wooden bead if you'd like to, but this is what I had on hand. And then I grabbed some nautical rope and just threaded it through my pot. And what I decided to do on the top was make a loop with the um, nautical rope and just hot glued it together. And just so you wouldn't see that hot glue, I grabbed some more of that jute twine rope and just wrapped it around the top part as well. Just to cover up mainly that glue where I attached both of them together to um, make that loop. So you can wrap it around as many times as you like. This basically is up to you and optional. So once you're happy with the amount of rope that you wrapped around it, just go ahead and cut off the excess and tie it into a knot. Then you're just going to go ahead and cut the nautical rope um, from the bottom part of your bell. And you're going to go ahead and grab your bells that you um, attach to the jute twine. And you're just going to go ahead and cut a little piece off of that and tie it onto the nautical rope. This was the only way I thought of doing it, but after I did it, I realized that I could have just glued the bells onto the nautical rope itself. I just did it this way thinking uh, since I couldn't thread the nautical rope through my bells, um, this would be an easier way for them to hang, but you can easily just glue them onto the nautical rope. But what I did was just tie a knot with the jute twine around my nautical rope just to allow those bells to hang. And there you have it. So we're going to do the same thing to the other two ceramic pots as well. We're going to go ahead and thread that nautical rope and then glue a loop on the top part with that rope. And then we're going to wrap some more of the jute twine around it just to cover up the glue and then cut the bottom part of the nautical rope, attach the bell to the bottom. And there you're going to have it, your second bell. Now the smaller pot, it is kind of hard to thread that nautical rope in there. So what I did was push it in as much as I could. And then I just grabbed some um, pliers and pulled out the rest of it. So it, it wasn't too hard, but it did. you did have to use a little bit of muscle just to pull that nautical rope through. Once you're done adding the bells, there you have them. Now you can leave them as individuals or you can tie them all together. And this is the way I've seen them. So this is the way I decided to go ahead and do them. Um, so what I did was just grab some more of the nautical rope and then I just glued it the same way and made a loop through the smaller one. And I started with the smaller belt because I wanted to make sure I had enough of this nautical rope before I grabbed another piece. So then I'm going to go ahead and thread it to the second one. Again, doing the same thing, just making it kind of like a chain and gluing it together, uh, attaching the nautical rope so that bell wouldn't move anywhere. Okay. 
and you can space these bells out as far apart as you like. I spaced mine out just to make sure that that one bell was right at the bottom of the second pot and then the third and final one was right at the top of the middle one. And you can decorate these as much as you like. I decided just to leave them the way they were, just with the nautical rope. And as always, when I do use any kind of nautical rope or drew twine, I tend to um, use my lighter just to make sure all those uh, flyaway pieces from that rope are um, burned off so it can look more put together and more have more of a finished look. And there you have it, some ceramic galvanized bells. So here is me just adding my stockings to my stand. And here are a few options of how I can use my ceramic bells. I actually can place them on my Christmas tree or even on a bookshelf. I decided to go ahead and leave mine on a bookshelf. But I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye!